Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Besiege. A game developed and published by Spiderling Studios and is usually available for £16.74 but is free right now on Xbox Game Pass until it isn't. Uh, but get your nuts and your lady nuts on that Game Pass. So this is a physics based building game in which we have to build different vehicles and all types of random rep work. Random weaponry, ha, ah, that's the one, to <laughs> lay siege upon your enemies and swipe them down with a mighty crash, or something or other. Uh, you know, it is a fun game, it's straightforward in the terms of achievements, but the controls can get your blood pressure up, just a slight, slight touch. But it's not too bad once you have a knack for the controls down. Uh, what you'll need for this is basically patience, because at the time of recording, it's still a game preview, meaning it's still technically a work in progress. Now, a few more things to note. If something happens uh, which it's not meant to, i.e. the wheels fall off uh, or something, you know, just at the start, just simply restart the level. Basically, you'll be restarting like there's no tomorrow because you may encounter different bugs than I do on some levels. So let us smash us up some stuff, shall we? Keep it in mind the amount of times you may need to restart. This can be done in around two to three hours, maybe a little bit, a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. So... With that being said, then, let's begin. So, we go onto the first island called Ypsilon. We go onto Zone 1. But what we are going to do is actually um, start and... Uh, we can actually download a lot of vehicles, which is what we're going to be doing. So, when we press the Select button, it brings it up with this page. If you scroll over to the right, you can see the workshop. Now, if you press the Select button again, we can begin to search for specific ones. So, my items is just what you've downloaded. Workshop is what we're going to download. The first thing that we're going to download is called Bomb Battlefield. So, B-O-M-B -B space B-A-T-T-L-E-F-I-E-L-D. Now, a lot of the times... You'd think it would just come up with exactly the same one, uh, what you are needing, but it doesn't always work out that way. Uh, so, uh, I'd say 9 times out of 10, the one that you're actually looking for is going to be all the way down the bottom. So, in the case of this one as well, if we just scroll all the way down to the bottom, what you're going to see is the one that we need. Um... Again, bearing in mind that there may be some other ones called Bomb Battlefield, but it's a specific one for specific levels. Now, to be fair to everyone who managed to uh, create these vehicles and weapons specifically just for achievements and specifically for certain levels, all credit absolutely goes to them incredibly. But this is the first one, Bomb Battlefield. It's kind of like a, like a midget car. Yeah, like a car for clowns. You know when they start piling out of them like hell? Two big wheels on the back, small two wheels on the front. So that is the one that we need. You can press the Y button to download it, but what I'm actually going to show you is um, the actual info so you know exactly which one it is. So if we type bread wall next, press A to go into details. Now it should be the exact same one as this. 61 blocks, uh, 2nd the 13th, 2022. Um, is when it was created, so then you can press the Y button there to download. Next, we're going to type in Death Cube, D-E-A-T-H space C-U-B-E. Now, what you're looking for is a cube that looks like death. And like I said, nine times out of ten, what you need to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom, and it, is pr and it will pretty much be there. Um, but again, like I said, you'd think coming up with that exact same one, or, you know, typing in these same uh, same words would just come up with, you know, we don't care about death box and scary death machine. But, uh, you know, tis what it is. So, let's scroll all the way down. And again, big shout out to everyone who created um, a lot of these vehicles. Because, god damn, it, uh, it, it took a lot of time away from, uh, you know, actually just grabbing all the achievements. Um, so, I mean, it... Just worked absolutely perfectly. So big shout out to everyone there. Uh, so we're just going to smash all the way down. And, uh, you know, like I said, it can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Because uh, you think, I did, at this point, like I said, because there's a couple of things called Death Cube. Uh, it's actually, there we go. So it is at the very bottom. Should have 15, 10 blocks, 1,510 blocks. Go boom, 2nd of the 13th, 2022. So now you can just... Uh, download that and we can well we won't need to open it just yet but just a little bit later on next we're going to choose or uh, type in rube 
Goldberg Rolling Rocks. R-U-B-E space G-O-L-D-B-E-R-G space R-O-L-L-I-N-G space R-O-C-K-S. As I almost spelt that wrong. Rock Jazir. Uh, but yeah, so this will be the next one. A lot of the times we're going to just uh, see them and grab them first time. That would be great. Like this one. So again, it is at the very bottom with a blue star next to it. So again, press A for details. What I highly advise doing as well is just give um, a like to the creators as well. Uh, because, it, you know, they've t obviously taken a lot of time in order to do these. So if you can, just give every creator, everyone that you've downloaded, just a little likey like. So you can appreciate their work. But that was the one there, 37 blocks. Next, we're going to choose. Uh, type in the word surprise. S-U-R-P-R-I-S-E. Now, um, basically, the one that is a surprise is the surprise. Now, again, sometimes the words might not actually come up underneath. So this is what surprise looks like. It's 913 blocks, 2nd of the 11th, 2022. This is the exact same one. But when you actually, yeah, so when you actually type in something, it, for some reason, some of the words get stuck and it acts like a different name. So that's where some more confusion might come in. Uh, but we need to uh, type in grab next. So there's grab. And again, what we're going to do is just smash it all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, so some of them, it is the very bottom right one here, which says grab 17 blocks, 2nd of the 14th, 2022. So that is exactly the one. So again, give them a like, download it. But again, sometimes it'll be different words. So just be aware of that one. Next, we're going to type in caterpillar. So that's C-A-T-E-R-P-I-L-L-A-R. And it's basically what we're looking for is basically like a big army tank with two drills. There it is. Bottom right hand corner again. The words actually come up this time. So that should be 209 blocks. Second of the 11th, 2022. So give that a likey and a downloady. Next, what we're going to do is grab something called the Quality Grabber. So Q-U-A-L-I-T-Y space G-R-A-B-B-R. Now, we are going to be downloading the majority of vehicles for the majority of levels and achievements, but there will still be some that we have to grab later on. So again, that's just something to be wary of. Durr. Uh, so what we're going to do is head all the way down. Now, smash it down, 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 Charlie Brown. Now, that says quad grabber, but there you go. It, it sort of takes a while <laughs> for it to sort of load up there. But there we go. That's the one. Quality grabber, bottom right corner, 48 blocks. Uh, so it should beat this one. Works very smoothly, quite durable. Oh, thank you very much. That's fantastic to know, actually. Uh, very much like the size of my gut. Right, now we're going to type in barbecue. B-I-R-B-E-C-U-E. -E. Um, now, what we're actually looking for is you know, when it says barbecue fixed, which will be the bottom right-hand corner there, the one with the blue star next to it. Um, apparently, the creator done the barbecue first, but it didn't quite reach the levels of finishing the level, grabbing the achievement, etc. So, again, to be fair to him, he uh, smashed it up, fixed it out, and, well, that will work first time now. So, after downloading and liking that, now we're going to type in Scouts of Tollbrind, or Tollbrind. I'm really, again, apologies about, you know, butchering the English language and every other language, because it's what I do. So, Scouts of Tollbrind, or Tollbrind, whatever, it will be the only one that pops up, so that should be 146 blocks. So, again, like that, give that a cheeky little downloadio. Oh, downloadio, oh, Azamia. And, in fact, I actually forgot to download that one, so I'll be doing that later on. That's very silly of me. Next, we're going to type in anti-aircraft. A-N-T-I space A-I-R-C-R-A-F-T. Anti-aircraft, or if you're American, of course, it's anti-aircraft. The whole British versus American thing <laughs> coming up fantastically once again. So this is another one we're just going to smash and go all the way down. Should be the bottom right-hand corner one, the one with the big red ball on it. Luckily, it's not a blue ball, because that could get quite messy. <laughs> uh, anyway, should be 38 blocks. Anyway, that is the one we need. Like it, download it, press the B button there to go back. Next, we're going to be grabbing the crank key. So that's C-R-A-N-K space K-E-Y. Cranky. <laughs> Cranky. I'm an old man, and I hadn't had my nap. 
And that is exactly me as a 32-year-old. Uh, but it should be the one on the very right there, the one with the blue star next to it. That should be 37 blocks on the 2nd of the 14th, 2022. Ah, man, I forgot. See, again, Britain versus America. The dates switched around. I don't know why. Next, we are going to choose the water heli. So, uh, there you go. Water and then space H-E-L-Y. And then again, it's going to have to go all the way down to the bottom. Again, 9 times out of 10, it's going to be on the bottom right-hand corner. If not, um, it'll be roughly around the bottom. So it's this one here, 427 blocks, um, done on the 21st of the 2nd, 2022. So that is exactly what it should be. Give it a like, give it a download. And next, so yeah, we are spending literally about 15 minutes downloading these, by the way. But it comes in handy, trust me. So next we're going to choose Crane 4 Duke Knowledge. So that's C-R-A-N-E space F-O-R space D-U-K-E space K-N-O-W-L-E-D-G-E. -E. So that's Crane 4 Duke Knowledge. Press the start button, brah. Okay, there we go. Right, so you think one would only come up. But as it turns out, no, we got a lot of crap with the words crane in it. And the one that we are looking for then is the derp crane. <laughs> crane for Duke Knowledge is at the top right-hand corner as we scroll all the way down. So one with 44 blocks on it. Crane for Duke Knowledge. This is exactly the same one we need. So like it, download it, love it. And then press the B button, oh, the left button, left bumper to go back, sorry, not the B button, as I said earlier. Uh, right, next, whoops, nope, go back onto it there, so again, select button, go back onto it, go back into the workshop. Now we're going to uh, search for the venetrated heart, that's V-E-N-E, -E, or venerated, sorry, R-A-T-E-D, space, H-E-A-R-T, venerated heart. Um... And it should be the one in the uh, right-hand side, the one with the blue star next to it. So that should have 112 blocks. Solution for Veronated Heart. There we go. Like it. Download it. Love it. <sighs> right. Next up, we're going to search for Shattered Field. I know how that field feels, to be honest. I'm shattered non-stop at the time. S-H-A-T-T-E-R-E-D -E -E space F-I-E-L-D. Now what it is, is kind of, it just looks like a long black thing. There it is. And, uh, well, where did they get the likeness from me? So anyway, it should be 51 blocks anyway. Uh, grabs the floating shard. That is exactly the one we should be doing. Like it, download it, head back. Uh, not too far. We've got about four or five left to download now. So next, we're going to be grabbing the frozen path. So that is what we need to type in then, the frozen path. Press the start button, and then this, uh, there we go. So luckily for us again, it's already there on its own. Should have 45 blocks and a simple mechanism to get through the heaviest of wines. Of course, that meant I meant to say wins, of course. Yeah. Right, so like it, download it, head back. Now we are going to search for the Relict Forest. R-E-L-I-C-T space f r I, well, I've put forest, but it's actually frost, so frost, relict frost. But whether you put forest or frost, this should come up, and it's like a badass-looking thing. 64 blocks, use the steam guns to counter the lift. Like it, download it, and head back. We've got two left now, two left for definitely, until we got to download some more later. So next, we're going to search for three gold. That's literally the number three, space gold. And there we go. So again, lucky for us, it's just at the bottom there, the one with the blue star next to it. Again, like it, download it. That should be 56 blocks and pushes bombs towards rocks. Back up and detonate bombs. The couple of them from the gold, yeah. And lastly, for now, we're going to get the Clockwork Achievement. And it's literally called Clockwork Achievement. So C-L-O-C-K-W-O-R-K space A-C-H-I-E-V. M-E-N-T, achievement, yeah, that's how you spell achievement, I can't remember if I got that right there, 
got mightily confused. But the one we need is on the very right hand side, the one with big three hammers looking things. 54 blocks, solves the revolving monolith without grabbers, which is an achievement. So, when we have done that, now we can actually begin and move on. Hooray! So, we'll, again, have to grab some more a little bit later on, but for now we can just crack on. So, back out. Now, what we're going to do is just press the B button uh, to erase absolutely everything. Now, normally you won't have as much as i done right there. I was just messing around until... We've got a blue, uh, just literally a cube. Press the right bumper and search for the cannon. So there's the cannon. Now what we need to do is just place that cannon so it's di uh, facing directly towards the house. Now uh, just press the select button to play. I always call it the select button. And then immediately press the right bumper. Now sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. As it turns out, this time it did. So literally... That is for completing a campaign level campaign level with under three blocks and for completing it an, in under two seconds. So if you didn't get the two achievements here, restart the level and then just again press the select button to play and then immediately press the right bumper. And we should be able to do the same with the next level. So we will tell you you can press the start button when you've completed a level to go into the next one. So as you can see there, I've obviously just pressed the start button, gone onto it, it, it and it just hasn't worked. So, sometimes, again, if it might work first time, sometimes it may take you up to 10 attempts. This is why we, I tell you not to get frustrated. Otherwise, you can just uh, immediately press and hold the start button after completing this. So, press the select button, press the right bumper to shoot, job done. Right, what we have to do here is just destroy two wagons. Again, very easy. Um, what we're going to do is just press down. I told you it was the select button earlier. Sorry, I meant down to go into your items. So we're not going to be downloading anything for now. What we're going to do is just grab the bomb battlefield. Uh, again, very easy. Nothing else to grab or nothing else to do. We're just going to press the uh, play button. Select button to start. And then we need to press the right bumper to shoot. We have to destroy two wagons. So again... Sometimes the enemies, uh, the villagers may come towards you and start to attack you. Sometimes they won't. So you can either just run into them like I do there, or you can press the right bumper to shoot what you need. But it is as easy as that. For some reason, that took me 20 seconds to do. So, now we can just go on to the next level. Again there, press and hold the start button. Now, this one can be a bit of a pain in terms of steering. The steering is an absolute Bumderbag, I tell you. So, to get the achievement for the uh, for this uh, particular level, we need to beat this level while having blown up all the bombs. So, there was one, two uh, straight in front of us. There was one to the left, bearing in mind that you can actually run out of ammo. So, if you run out of ammo, you'll have to restart the level and go again. There is a third... Well, there's three bombs just in front of us here. Two to the left and one to the right. Uh, sometimes you may get lucky and get two explosions in one... Um, but yeah, so you have to, the steering can be an absolute, it's like someone's flicking you in your nutsack constantly when you're trying to drive, it's painful, and not really necessary. Um, but like I said, you can run out of ammo, so again, the sheep, don't worry about the sheep, you'll just apparently run them over dead. So the final two are literally just behind the, it's, it's called an insignia on the floor. Basically, going into that will finish the level, we don't want to do that. So that's why I'm trying to just sneak it, sneak past it. See, like the, the, the floating, or not floating, but the flashing sort of thing on the floor. Again, try to avoid going into that, because that will end the level. If it does, you will just have to restart the level. And just make sure to blow up all the bombs. There you go, got lucky with that one there. You have to just blow up all the bombs before finishing the level. That will get us the bomb battlefield achievement. Man, this is painful. Oh my god, my note soaks. So anyway, as soon as we do that, like I said, so it's very important, of course, to line up your shots so that you don't run out of ammo and have to do that. But as soon as you do that, finish the level and you will get the bomb battlefield achievement. There we go, lovely. By the way, we're going to be grabbing a whole load of miscellaneous achievements um, in this first zone. So what we're going to do now is press down to go back into our items. And we are going to grab the bread wall. Um, the bread wall vehicle that, of course, we downloaded a little earlier on. 
that be the one. So what we need to do now is just use the breadboard vehicle and start it. Then what that will do is it'll just basically, it'll just, it should auto complete. It should auto complete. But again, like I'm showing you now, sometimes that doesn't always happen. So all we got to do for this one is just start the level. It should auto complete, as I said. Again, if not, um, don't panic yourself too much about it. It's literally just a case of one of those that um, you just got to keep trying until it works. But I'm showing you exactly what to do in order to finish the level. Um, and then it should be good. But apparently I did finish the level just about. <laughs> Sometimes, of course, you will have to wait, you know, literally like 10, 20, maybe 30 seconds just in case it hasn't worked. So as you can see, I just unlocked two achievements there. Pyromaniac one. You may not um, grab the Pyromaniac achievement yet. But you, you should get that uh, during normal story progression anyway. So, on to the next zone. What we're going to do is grab the Death Cube. And we're going to load up the Death Cube. We're going to um, press select there to play. And then we're going to press the right bumper to blow it up. Now again, as you can see, it may work first time. It may not work first time. That is exactly what you're dealing with. Frustrations, anger... And, you know, we need a whole bunch of vodka. So if it doesn't happen, just keep going until it works. For me there, second time, lovely. But that should get you the raw fodder achievement for beating the level without using fires. <laughs> fires or explosives. Um, by the way, if it doesn't unlock using the death cube, try it with the caterpillar. The tank looking thing with the two drills on it. Definitely unlock then. Next, what we're going to do is go and grab the Rube Goldberg Rolling Rocks vehicle. Now all we have to do is just start the level here, and, well, we don't have to do anything. <laughs> we can just press the right trigger to start driving it, because uh, I'm not sure if it's an automatic thing. Uh, but as soon as you get these two genital walled up, look <laughs> genital watered up looking at bows, there you go, that will get you the achievement Rube Goldberg Rolling Rocks for, for completing the last level there without pressing a key. Next, what we're going to do is, we're actually going to the work workshop, we're going to get a uh, another downloaded thing uh, called Barely Standing. So that's B-A-R-E-L-Y space S-T-A-N-D-I-N-G. A big shout out to Achieve Steve for this one, uh, because he is the one that actually created this vehicle in order to finish this in incredible, easily accuracy. So it's on the right hand side there. Big cannon on like a big thing. So again, big shout out to Achieve Steve. Thank you very much, pal. Much appreciated for that. So again, it'll be the exact same. What you need to do, start the level and then press the right bumper to shoot. Now, what you're supposed to do, because uh, we'll be getting an achievement for this without using armor. So it's a case of timing on this one. There you go. So I got, a, I got it. I left it a second, pressed the right bumper. Just about managed to get it. And then we got the barely standing achievement. So next, we are on to Thin Side Fort. Next, for the vehicle, we are going to be grabbing the surprise. Surprise. Surprise, Mother Flubber. Um, <laughs> some, some fries, Mother Flubber. Sunrise, Mother Flubber. Anyway, get out your surprise. Oh, <laughs> well, that sounds round. Uh, now, what we have to do, we are going to load the vehicle and then hit the left bumper, right bumper, and B button all at the same time. That will destroy absolutely everything. Uh, apparently, I've got the freezing front here as well. This is another one that you may get now or you may get later on. You will get it at some point, that achievement. Uh, but that is all you've got to do for that one then. Press the left bumper, right bumper, and the B button at the same time. Um, and that just gives off a huge, massive explosion. Same thing for this level then. I drove forward just a little bit with the right trigger. Then left bumper, right bumper, and B button. That should explode everything and conquer the zone. Again, if it doesn't work, restart the level, try again. You should be fine. Same thing then with Liar Peak. We're going to start the level. We're going to drive forward ever so slightly. Left bumper, right bumper, B all at the same time. And that is going to explode. Explode like your gut exploding after an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> Delicious. Right, Highland Tower. Again, it's exactly the same thing. Start the level. We're going to drive towards the tower. Left bumper, right bumper, B button. And once again, it's going to explode like that one scene in Scary Movie. 
where uh, you know they're all freezing in a freezer, and uh, yeah, she gets on the wall. Well, if you've seen Scary Movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Right, so now we're going to be grabbing a new vehicle for this one. Uh, we're going to be grabbing the Grab. Exactly why I said grabbing the Grab. So don't <laughs> don't grab anyone else. That can be classed as sexual harassment. Just grab the vehicle, the Grab. Grab the grab vehicle, that's the one. Uh, now, so what we have to do, very easy, all we have to do is drive over to one of the bundles of logs. They kind of look, just look like big cubes. Your grabber will automatically stick to the grabber. So there it is, just one on the right-hand side. Again, um, it can be a bit tricky to drive, so, you know, just take your time with it. And then what you can do is use the Y button to extend the neck of the vehicle, which is what I was just doing. So, of course, it's left trigger to reverse, by the way. I mean, you can't do it very well, but um, <laughs> we give it a good go. So, what you're going to do is put the log of cubes, press the Y button to get your neck out there. <laughs> it's like someone stuck a whole bunch of Viagra down your throat, to be honest. <clears throat> How did he die? Well, he's got a bit of a, <laughs> got a, bit of a neck reaction. Uh, so, <laughs> again, it just because it can be quite difficult and slightly annoying to drive sometimes... As you can see, I'm struggling just a bit with it. But as soon as you drive into it, again, it'll automatically stick. Press the Y button to get your neck reaction up. And just try and put it on the insignia right there. And there we go. So we finally got that on the platform. Next, for the zone called Solomon's Flock, we're going to go into the vehicles. We're going to be grabbing the Caterpillar. Caterpillar, which again is the big, chunky, uh, tank-looking thing with drills at the front. Which I tell you what, I wouldn't mind driving one of them myself. So, all we got to do, load up the vehicle. And all we have to do really is just simply drive over as many sheep as we can until the level finishes. So, uh, if you press and press the left and right trigger at the same time, that will send the tank forward. Left bumper and right bumper will put it in reverse. If you only press the right trigger, the tank will start going to the right. And then you press the right trigger and left trigger to start going forward, etc, etc. So you can't actually turn it with the left stick. You have to use the left trigger if you want it to start um, sort of moving to the left in order to go forward. And it's the same with the reverse uh, with the reverse button. So after killing all the sheep down here, you can literally just go up the little bits of steps right there and go into the pen at the end. And that will complete the level. Now you can have two minutes away from my goddamn beautiful voice. Uh <laughs> See, but we get there eventually, don't we? So, that one's done, finally. Now we are on to Marksman's Pass. And the vehicle that we're going to need is the Quality Grabber. Which, again, if you're a Quality Grabber, you should be in prison right now. Um, anyway, the Quality Grabber should be basically just on the right-hand side. The sort of very first one, or very last one, depends on whichever way you go, from left to right, etc. And then what we have to do is just drive up the ramp... The only stone ramp that is here, we're going to pass over the first insignia, which of course is just the thing that is flashing in front of you. So when we press the play button, again, just take your time, go slow with it, and just, you know, don't go nuts with it. Uh, just ignore all the arrows coming towards you, y'all can screw off now. Uh, but just go over the first insignia, drive up the grass part. So again, just keep basically going straight, driving up the grass part, falling off the cliff. And then what that should do then, you should uh, be able to touch the second insignia, which we've already done. And then the third one. And that is the Zone Gankard. And next, and finally for the Ypsilon one, actually, this is the final zone that we're going to do. We are going to grab the Surprise. Some fries, Mother Flubber. Surprise, Mother Flubber. All we got to do is exactly what we've done with this earlier. Start it, drive forward. 
blow it up, left bumper, right bumper, and the B button, of course, and that will uh, explode everything. And we get the Lord of the Liar achievement for conquering the first area as well, called Ipshanown. So, there we go. Now we can move on to the first, the second one, which is the Isle of Tolbrind. Which I'm just going to call it Tolbrind forever, because screw it. Right, so, on to zone 17, called the Duke's Plea. <laughs> the Duke's Plea. Okay, all we got to do... Uh, what we're actually going to do, when we start the level, we're going to stay with the surprise. We're going to drive over to the right to kill this army dude, or to kill the knight. Keep driving forward, and then explode everything as we get there. That is how you should uh, complete the level. Again, sometimes you may get blown up before that happens, but just uh, run over the knight on the right, straight forward, explode everything, left bumper, right bumper, and B button, and there we go. That is how you complete that one. Next onto Southern Shrine. This one can be slightly annoying. So we need to get the barbecue fixed um, vehicle. Now what we have to do, we have to beat the level by primarily using fire to kill the birds. Of course, you can shoot them. You can just let build a tall vehicle, let them run into you. But we have to um, use it. Primarily with fire. Now, as we start, the basically the vehicle's controls are reversed. So what you have to do is press the right bumper for half a second, and then right bumper again to turn it off. Now, the reason that we're doing this is because, just like the other ones, there is limited ammo in here. So if you run out of ammo before completing this and getting the achievement, you'll have to start again. So it's highly advised just to have a look where the birds are. Um, uh, sort of have a look underneath the vehicle just so you know and make sure that the birds are flying directly above you as you can see it's not exactly happening for me right now so i just reverse ever so slightly and start getting them again but that is the best camera angle to do that have a look underneath make sure that the birds are flying underneath you and then once that is done you'll get the barbecue achievement and we have uh, finished the level so with that we can now just move on so press and start the whole uh, press and hold the start button now, what we're going to do is get the Scouts of Tolbrind um, uh, vehicle, which, of course, I forgot to actually download earlier on, but I did show you. So, again, the vehicle is Scouts of Tolbrind. Now, this one... <laughs> what can I say? We've already had a bit of trouble uh, with the vehicles on the ground. The air vehicles, again, are a bit of a pain in the butt snatch. So, it's exactly the same... Um, in terms of uh, its right trigger to go forward, and then, you know, left left stick, right stick to go, obviously, left and right. So what we do, now what I done, I ended up flying to the one directly in front of us, right here, if we can, and then immediately sort of turn it as quickly right as you can to pop the next balloon. Now that did take me many a try, so don't think that I just done that and made it look really easy, um, because... <laughs> Going up first and then turning right gives you a bit of momentum in order to pop that second balloon. But that should get you the piloting 101 achievement uh, for beating the Scouts of Tolbrin without cannons, flamethrowers, or crossbows. Next, we are on to the Duke's prototypes, and we're going to be grabbing the quality grabber once more. So again, apologies, you'll probably have to pause the video quite a few times, especially for the aerial ones. They're a bit of a pain. So what we have to do, we have to roll over each of the three insignias. Now, you will get yaks that come towards you with bombs, and they will blow you up, simple as. So we have to stay quite a while away, quite a bit away, and just blow the yaks up from afar. Um, so again, this one is one that you're just going to have to absolutely take your time. Just chill out. If you get too close, that is when the yaks will start coming towards you. So just inch forward, inch forward, inch forward, press the right bumper to shoot them, and then just run over the three insignias in order to finish the level. You got this, baby. And another one we got there eventually. Right. Now we are on the Duke's Deer Freighters. Now the vehicle we need for this one is the anti-aircraft. The one with the big blue red ball on it. 
Except there's no blue and it's all red. Um, so this one may, again, take you a few tries. So what we have to do then, we have to just get rid of all of these um, flying helicopter things. Again, there's going to be some yaks with bombs, uh, but you should be able to ignore them. Yeah, you should be able to ignore them. So what you need to do with the flaming arrows... Oh, in fact, no, we are... Sorry, apologies. We're actually going to blow up the axe with bombs because they'll kill you dead. So after blowing up the first one, go underneath the wooden aircraft right here. And then what we need to do is press the Y button when you're underneath it to extend the fiery ball sack of life. Oh, you know, up to you. You can just kill the axe first. Whatever's easier for you. As it turns out, to make it easier for us, I decided to kill all the axe first. Now, again, just like every other vehicle in this game, can be an absolute butt bag to um, control. But with that, we can now go under this. As soon as all three yaks are done with the bombs, we can now just go under. Quickly reverse, because you can be hit and be destroyed by flying debris. Or debris. Or debris! If anyone ever says debris, which is just highly illogically stupid. Um, but yeah, so as soon as you put it on fire, press the left trigger there to reverse it so you don't get hit by the flying crud. Just take a breather, take two seconds, because even you can actually catch yourself on fire as well. Um, and I mean, you do get the Pyromaniac achievement anyway, but, you know, you don't want to set yourself on fire, do you? Not yet, we've got too much to live for, especially when everyone's bills goes up in the UK in October. Right, so with the first two done, now what we need to do is simply go underneath, press the A button to destroy the next anti-aircraft, or the next aircraft either. Uh, even, sorry, my English is fantastic as always, to get the anti-aircraft achievement. <laughs> so again, obviously, pressing the right stick will allow you to move the camera. You obviously already know that. Now we are into the Grand Crystal, Zone 21. We're going to be getting the Shattered Field vehicle right here. Now, what we can do can be slightly frustrating. Can be. Maybe. So what we have to do then, again, um, if you... When we start the level, if you press the right stick, that is where you can put your long black thing up and down. Um, yes, I said that. <laughs> um, and then press the white button, of course, to extend it. So, bit of a uh, bit of vehicle Viagra for us there. But what we need to do is actually just knock the tower down. Uh, so you can use the grabber there again. Use the right stick to put it all the way up and grab it that way, doing it at a certain angle. Or you can just keep pressing the Y button there, like I'm doing, to destroy the tower. And eventually it's all going to fall off. So yeah, just keep spamming that around. Whatever you want to do. Either way, the shard's going to fall. Um, press the X button, by the way. If you want to let go of something, just press the X button. Go over to the shard. Drag it over to the insignia to end the level. Skablamo! There we go. Job done. Right. On to the next one. Tis but a scratch. Farmer Paul Gascoigne. Growing a lot of alcohol for us. Thanks, Gaza. Legend. Legend. So, we need the Caterpillar uh, vehicle next. You can use the Surprise, but it's not as consistent as the Caterpillar in terms of you may be there for about 20 or 30 times, whereas with the Caterpillar, we just now uh, can simply roll over all the green crops until the level has finished. Again, ignoring all the enemies because they're all good. Remember, you've got to press and hold the left trigger and right trigger at the same time. Left bumper and right bumper to go backwards. You know it. Y'all are good. Why am I American now? Saying y'all for everything. Y'all, 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 y'all. Run over the green crops, y'all, and then we're all y'all. Hey, we yalled it, yalled. So with that one done, now we're on to the village of Diom. Now, all we got to do is get the surprise vehicle out. It's my favorite vehicle, that, that plus the death cube. What we're going to do, load the vehicle, drive forward a bit with the right trigger, and then again, press the left bumper, right bumper, and the B button to explode absolutely everything. Again, just like levels previously, it may work first time, it may work third time, but eventually, after about the fifth or sixth time, then it should actually work. But remember, just wait around 10 to 20 seconds or so, just so that the 
uh, level will finish. So next up is Midland Patrol. It's going to be the same thing. We're going to keep with the surprise vehicle. We're going to drive to the double flags. Now, there are two flags which are literally stood right next to each other, just to the right a little bit. Now, what we need to do is just go to those flags and explode everything again. L, B, R, B, and B. Um, but just like, again, all the others, this one also may take a couple of tries. Um, and, of course, as I said... Just wait a few seconds after the explosion, just in case there's any fallen debris that may hit some of the soldiers. So, literally, up and to the right of us there, go into the middle of that, explode everything, and then it should work. But we're waiting, 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 waiting all day long! And then eventually, skablamo, it didn't work, oh. Alright, so, yeah, just keep trying that then. To the double flags... There they are, right there. So to those two double flags, go straight in the middle of it. L, B, R, B, and B. And then eventually it should work at some point. Oh, <laughs> well, there we go. It worked this time. Right, so finally with that one out of the way. Now we are on to the Valley of the Wind level. Again, with the surprise vehicle, we're going to load the vehicle. Drive in front of the monument ahead. And just explode everything. L, B, R, B, and B. And that should be another one that gets um, gets us out easily of the way. So there are 55 zones currently on this game. Of course, that may change. They may add some more zones and levels later on. But we're already coming up to sort of halfway through. Now we're on to Odd Contraption. This one is a bit of a biznatch. Uh, we're going to go into the vehicles, download the vehicles, and grab the Cranky. Cranky Cranky. It's there somewhere. Ah, there she blows, look, there she blows, right. So grab the cranky. Now all you have to do is stick the grabber on the contraption, basically the only thing, that the sort of wheel just in front of us right there. Now, and then we have to hold the left trigger to spin it. Now we have to do this very slowly. If I can drive forward in a straight line, that would also be fantastic. But if not, just restart the level. Um, but again, so to spin it, we have to do it very slowly while cranking it. It may take a couple of tries, um, it, the key's just a bit dodgy on this one, so we have to keep cranking it to the left. So, hold the left trigger, and then, yeah, for some reason it'll start throwing us about, it'll start throwing us about like a 30 stone bro, and an 8 stone lady chick. Um, or, you know, some other thing that is bigger than the other one. Anyway, keep holding the left trigger, just pull it all the way left until the red bar at the bottom obviously all, all, uh, goes to the right and the level is complete. Oh boy, did that just take a while. Right, now we are on to the Diom Well. Now what we're going to do is grab the grab vehicle. Grab the grabber. Um, uh, we're basically back to another easy one now. I mean, they're all easy, but some can just be a little bit annoying. So, what we have to do, we're going to destroy the tower in front of us first, i.e. the roof. And then what we can do is just drive back, grab one of these pots, which has a bunch of poison in it. And then all we got to do then is just press the Y button to stick it in the well. Now, you can grab the poison first and try and fit it in. But honestly, it's just easier to, to destroy the roof first. And uh, grab the uh, poison and drop it into the well. So again, <laughs> the driving is literally... Somebody has come up drunk with this one and just gone, I tell you what, act as if the vehicles are drunk as well. Pretty much. Right. We are surrounded... Sunk deep in the dense embrace of the forest. I imagine this is the polar opposite of suffocation. Any of the Shikari fans would get that one, by the way. But what we're doing is actually grabbing the Death Cube. So, <laughs> grab the Death Cube, start the level, and then just hit the right bumper to destroy everything. And you should 
complete the zone. Again, it's just going to be one of those that is a bit of trial and error. It may work straight away. It may take a couple of tries, but there we go. So, Death Cube, right bumper, bam! Onto the Sacred Flame. Now what we're going to do is grab the Water Helicopter. There is going to be an achievement we're going to be grabbing as well. Again, pretty much story related. You cannot miss this um, achievement. So grab the Water Heli, which of course we downloaded a little, a lot earlier on. And then what we need to do, we need to fly the helicopter up to the flame. Now this is another weird one. Press the right trigger to go. And then to bank forward, you have to obviously tilt the left stick forward a bit. To uh, bank, you know, backwards, left and right, etc. Just, you know, move the left stick. Then we need to just press the Y button to turn on the water. So just keep pressing the Y button. And just keep going all the way up until the blue flame. That will extinguish that. That will complete the zone and get us the all under control achievement. Put out a burning block using water. Well, that's nice. The rare achievements, by the way, are blamissimo in this game. Next, we are on to Argus's ground. What we're going to need is the shattered field vehicle. So get yourself out and get yourself into vehicles, mate. There it is. Long black thing. You know what it's like. I mean, I don't personally know what it's like. I've got a short white thing. But uh, anyway... What we need to do, you can actually skip this one uh, if you want, but we'll have to come back and complete it anyway, so I pretty much shouldn't have just told you that just now. So, what you have to do, go over to the sword, as you can see, it'll automatically cling on. Now, remember this is a very clunky uh, game in terms of controls and everything. So what we have to do is the Y button, we basically have to just mash the right bumper and the Y button. Um, and that kind of just gets the sword out of the ground eventually um so yeah when we press the y button if you then press the right bumper it should start sort of shaking it i can't really explain any more than that it's just one of those that it's a bit weird um so again we've grabbed the sword we just need to use the combination there of y and right bumper to eventually eventually pull the sword out of the ground um, now, what the, what will happen then is a circle of ice will appear, and then we can use the sword or our grabber to break it, and then just drag the sword to the signia, insignia right behind us to complete the level. Um, but again, you can skip the level if you want, but you'll have to complete this a bit later on anyway, so we might as well just do it now. Just Y and right bumper your way through life. I'm sure you'll get it quicker than me. <laughs> Here we go, luck man. See, only took two minutes and 12 seconds. Lovely. Right. Now we are on to the Duke's knowledge. Now, if you remember when we were downloading some of the vehicles, we downloaded one called Crane for Duke's knowledge. That is exactly what we're going to be grabbing next. So it's a very easy one, but we basically have to get the. We need to steal the Duke's knowledge, which is a big, basically, book, in under two minutes. Very easy to do, so grab the Crane for Duke's Knowledge here, start the level. Now what we can do is, you can see the big black box in front of us, move forward, and then we just need to press the Y, um, I sort of press the Y button, or, you know, to sort of direction our way up and knock the um, lid off. Put the crane in, that will automatically grab the book. Now all we've got to do is just go... Uh, Drag the book, that's what I'm trying to say, drag the book to the insignia behind us. But again, it can be slightly a little bit tricky and a little bit awkward. Again, you're probably already used to the hella clanky controls by now. Um, but we are getting there. Soon as it's over, just drag it backwards. 
and then eventually we should get there. But that's all you got to do for that one then. And that should give it this exceptional thief achievement as well. If it didn't, of course, if, you, if it's taken over two minutes, restart the level and try again. It shouldn't be too difficult. Right, now we need the vehicle called Venerated Heart. Now, this one again may seem complicated, but it's not too bad. So, grab the Venerated Heart. <coughs> heart, there it is. So what we have to do, there are two switches directly in front of us. And all we need to do is just... Um, drop the two barrels that we've already got onto each switch. So, if you press the B bumper, uh, B button, the right one will fall off. So make sure it's over the switch. It may fall off, but as long as that light switch is switched up, turn your lights off. Damn it! It's not Blackpool Illuminations, as every old person used to say. All our parents. And then press the X button there to to nip off the other one. Uh, put that on the switch, so it's the B button for the right, X button for the left. As soon as that's done, we are going to roll forward. And then we need to drive up to it and use the D-pad to aim the cannons on the top of our vehicles at the heart. Shoot them with the right bumper, that will destroy the crystal and finish this level. Next, we are onto the Shattered Field, which this time we are going to need the Shattered Field Vehicle. So, <laughs> makes sense. So, as you know, go into the shattered f uh, go into the vehicles, grab the shattered field. And there she blows. And, like I said, you need to extend the grabber up by um, pressing the right stick. I'm pretty positive it's the right stick. If I got the button combination wrong on that one, you can hate me all you want, but I do apologize. But, yeah. So, basically, get your big black thing out. Stick it up, stick it up in the sky so that everyone can see. It's kind of difficult to tell where you are with this one. Sometimes you may grab it first time, you may grab it uh, not at all. Um, but try and put yourself not directly underneath it, but sort of slightly, you know, just away from it right there. And then you can just go ahead and press the white button to grab it. As soon as you've grabbed it, drive backwards into the old Signy Signy. And that one is uh, all done. So that'll be the Shattered Field level done. Now we're actually going to be coming up to the final zone. So the for some reason, the first two areas seem to be the longest. Uh, but the last two are slightly annoying. So with the Arras Refuge, uh, Refugee, Arras Refuge, we're going to get the Surprise Vehicle. We're going to get Surprise, Mother Flubber. Right, all we have to do is basically destroy the tower, which is on top of the floating island. It does say to destroy everything, but we only need to destroy the tower. So what we're going to do is drive forward, basically go right into the middle as much as we can, and then left bumper, right bumper, and B button everything. That should explode everything, and that will get us the Duke of the Skies, a dig of the skies, for conquering Tolbrind. Uh, again, if it doesn't work, just try it again. Drive into the middle, go again. Next, we're onto the third out of four areas called Valfros. And we are going to get the frozen path. Start off with the frozen path. So, these next two areas are the smallest, but um, they can be particularly annoying. So, what I do, this one can be particularly tricky just because of the wind. Um, so, instead of trying to fight with it, so, uh, we'll just go ahead and grab the Frozen Path Vehicle first, by the way. Let us just go ahead and grab that. There it is, Frozen Path Vehicle. Open it up. Now, what, obviously, it's left stick to move, right trigger to drive. But what it's actually going to do is start blowing you in a completely different direction. So, wait until you're spinning and that you're basically pointing forward again. Don't try and fight the wind. It's going to blow you in, an, in all kinds of different directions. The Insignia is literally right there. Just to the left of us. Um, so press the right trigger. Now, of course, what it's going to do is keep trying to blow you absolutely everywhere. So as soon as you start heading, you know, in a different direction. And you can't turn right to just spin yourself around. And then just go again. But what I do is I spin myself around and aim sort of towards the right. Because for some reason it kept blowing me towards the left. But that is exactly how I found it easier to finish the level. Um, so, as soon as you start heading to the left, of course, just spin all the way around. And then you can keep going straight. And eventually, you will finish the 
uh, level. That's the easiest way I found how to do this one. See, Mama, tis easy, man, tis easy. Right, so what we're going to do then for this level, the Awakening Bells, we're going to grab the uh, Surprise Vehicle. Very easy, this one. We have to get the pr Professional Hunchback achievement for ringing all three bells at the same time. So, just simply get the Surprise Vehicle, drive forward, make sure that you're actually touching the bells, and then press the left bumper, right bumper, B button combo. That should then ring all three bells, completing the zone, and unlocking the Professional Hunchback achievement. So, with that one, now we can go on to the Peculiar Clearing level. And for this one, we are going to get the Caterpillar vehicle out. Um, now, I'm not going to lie to you, this one is pretty much an absolute nipple leak. It is a bit of a ball leak, this level. Whatever you use, it's a bit of a ball leak. So, you see the little um, uh, crank, the little spinny crank boy on the right-hand side right here? All we got to do is just slowly drive against it, turn it... And raise the monuments in the middle. But it's just one of those that can be a bit of a pain. Now, three times I tried this. And all three times it actually ended up taking off the one set of wheels on the left-hand side. But if that happens, don't panic. Just keep going. As long as you can keep driving forward into it. And that your vehicle actually doesn't break apart. You just should still be able to just keep dri slowly driving into it. Turn the crank until the level finishes. It's an easy concept. But it's a son of a biscuit head for actual completion. <laughs> so again, as long as your vehicle doesn't totally break, you should be absolutely fine. Oh, man, come on. Sometimes you get a good bit of momentum and it cranks like hell. Ah, there we go. Two minutes and 40 seconds done. Felt like more like two hours and 40 minutes, to be honest. Now we're on to the Martyr Knights. All we got to do is just go back and grab the surprise vehicle. Yeah, like I said, some of these levels may only take a minute to complete. May it, it, sometimes it feels like an hour. So what we got to do, load the vehicle, start the level. We just need to let all the enemies get close to us. And then left bumper, right bumper, B button combo, explode everything. That's how you grab the achievement. Again, if it doesn't work the first time, just drive, you know, drive ever so slightly forward again. Just wait until more of the enemies get close to you. I end up actually going all the way to the back where these uh, enemies are standing still. Make sure they're all around you. Bomb them to crap in hell and back. Hitler is coming. I should probably shouldn't say that, should I? But still. Right, next we are on to the Ordites, Ordice Load. And now we need the three gold vehicle. The only time they were going to be using this. So again, 
this uh, it's a physics based game physics building based game so you already know the randomness involved in it but when we get the three gold vehicle what we have to do um we need to drive forward ever so slightly as soon as you start drive forward ever so slightly and then stop and then what's going to happen is a whole load of grenades and bombs are just going to appear in random places. Bam! Sometimes you'll get lucky and get quite a bit of rock explosion. If not, and you don't see two or three pieces of gold basically directly in front of us there, um, then just restart the level and try again. But there are actually four pieces of gold that I have, um, or five including the one that's already in the minecart. Um... So, hit the X button to drop the wooden beam um, attached to our vehicle. There it is. So, we can just move this one out of the way. And we'll just nip that one up. Alright, finally, when that is done, all we've got to do then is just go ahead and grab three gold ores. So, again, for me, I've managed to, to explode four out of their hidey holes. If you haven't got at least two... Just try again. Just absolutely just try again. Uh, but press the Y button, of course, to stick it down. As soon as you get this gold ore, bring them all back to the insignia to end this level. Oh, if only it was this easy to get gold and arg, 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 money. I like money. Anyway, with that complete, we are now onto the mountain barrier. Now, what we have to do is simply grab the caterpillar vehicle. Of course, big tank with big fat Dr. Robotnik drills coming out of it. And then all we got to do when we start the level, we just got to drive up to the wall very slowly. Knocking into it and destroying it section by section. If you do see that the big wall in front of us is about to collapse on us, just make sure to either reverse out or just get out of the way so it doesn't break your vehicle. Um, I mean, I say slowly, but I just ended up going for it, going nuts. Um, there you go. So got lucky with that one. Just reverse out. As soon as it's collapsing, reverse out. Break the next bit of wall, and that will get us the... Uh, mountain barrier level done plus the through and through achievement as well and that is for completing the level without any explosives so fantastic <clears throat> next we're on to zone 42 now which is the relict frost so that is the exact vehicle that we need as well the relict frost um right this is <laughs> hella slow of a vehicle and you're, you're gonna know exactly what it is now it's so slow um so open it up anyway the relict frost it's very slow for a reason though okay no no i'm sure the guy who done this guy or girl of course who done this or frying pan who done this done this on purpose uh, but all we have to do is get to the middle grab the cube and then go to the other side into the insignia that's all we have to do but we're going to begin very slowly and we're rolling, 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 rolling all night long. When you, <laughs> but uh, what's going to happen when we get close to the cube? We're going to be start. We're going to start being lifted into the air. That is where we're going to press the Y button to activate the steam jets that are going to keep us on the ground. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure if you can just uh, keep your steam jets going i'm not sure if there's like an ammo or you know you might actually run out of steam literally um so that's why you see me sort of struggling if you will by pressing the y button 
Um, just now and again. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if you just press the Y button once, keep the steam going, you can literally just drive forward, um, use the grabber to grab it on the cube, and then just drive forward again with the steam constantly shooting out. Pretty sure you should be able to do that, but I'm not entirely sure. That is why you see me sort of pressing the Y button every now and again, because that was a third man. But you need to let yourself get floated up into the air anyway. And then as soon as we are there, we're going to automatically grab the grabber. There it is. Now we can just use our steam jets, and you can just see the insignia off to the right-hand side. So get to the insignia, finish the levelier, and get yourself paid levelier. Ah, man, that'd be a little bit of a slag, but we got there in the end. Two and a half minutes later, we get there in the end. Next, we're going to get the consumed... Oh, this is the consumed king level. Now, uh, what we have to do is now we're going to grab a new uh, downloaded vehicle called Consumed King, No Mechanics. Because um, basically, we need to beat this level without using any mechanical blocks. So that's why we get that one. So again, massive shout out to the creator here. Um, so just type in Consumed Kings, again, it's the select button, I still keep calling it the select button, I never will ever call it anything else. Uh, I just typed in Consumed King, and it is on the right hand side, the one with the drills. So top right hand corner, as we begin next to the blue star, Consumed King, no mechanics, again, give them a like, and then you can download it. So again, it's not too bad, but in the physics game that it is um, when we get to the the broski who is underneath the dinosaur teeth right there he may snap in half so again as usual if something goes wrong just reset the level otherwise we can replay it um, now I actually have to replay this two or three times purely because the car just didn't want to go left or right sometimes so that is why I had to restart it a couple of times maybe the same for you but otherwise we're going to go over to this dinosaur teeth um, we're going to Drive our way in. Eventually, we're going to drive our way in. Come in. There we go. Squeeze yourself in. Knock the guy off. Press the... Well, we had to do is press the Y button to turn on the vacuums. He would have got sucked off by you, sucked in by you, and then you could just reverse straight out. Um, so, I ran into him, pressed the Y button, reversed out. Sorry, I'd done that one quite quickly. Um, but here we go, then. For an absolute nutbag, ball pube shaven sandwich, stick it up your nostril, annoying achievement. And it is annoying. It's not hard, but it is just annoying. So what we have to do is get the clockwork achievement vehicle. Which of course, what we grabbed a little bit earlier on. Well, at the very beginning of the game and the guide. So it should be there somewhere. Where we be? Right, the clockwork achievement. It's a fantastic, again, a big shout out to the guy or girl or frying pan who made this, because it is absolutely fantastic, um, and it saves, again, saves us a lot of time. So all you have to do, go up to these two pillars and light them on fire. Press the white button there to light them on fire. Two pillars directly in front of us, can't miss it. What we have to do now is you see the lit sort of symbols right there. You have to get them pointing the way of the triangle, which is on the floor, directly Directly to our left now is the triangle on the floor. So, um, if you press up on the D-pad, that extends the top rotator. Left on the D-pad extends the middle rotator. And down on the D-pad extends the bottom rotator. So just keep those ones in mind. So what we're going to do first is use the bottom rotator, which is um, down on the D-pad. Now, it is just a case of getting... <sighs> the vehicle, of course, as usual, 
pretty annoying, damn tricky to drive. So you need to put it in a way where the wheels are just lined up perfectly with the stones in order to um, get the bottom uh, lit symbol onto the triangle. But remember, down on the D-pad will extend the bottom rotator. And then what you have to do is press the left bumper and right bumper. Sorry, almost forgot to tell you that one. Left bumper and right bumper spins the rotator. Um, and that is pretty much all I can do is give you that advice. And that is exactly how you will do it. Um, but again, it is a case of just getting it so perfectly in line that you can just start rotating him and then rotating the pillars. It's a pain. But it should take no more than, I mean, it took me about, I think about five or six minutes to do this one. So, left bumper or right bumper to spin the wheel. So get the bottom lit symbol just facing the triangle for now. I mean, we'll get there eventually, uh, but remember, the uh, going left on the D-pad will extend the middle rotator, and then, of course, left bumper, right bumper, so make sure to do that one, just facing the triangle, and again, sometimes it's so easy to get one of the other ones out of whack, so don't panic and don't get frustrated if that happens, just drive away, come back to it slowly and get yourself into another good position, but I found it definitely a lot easier to go from bottom to top. And of course, remember with the top one, press up on the D-pad, that'll extend the top rotator. So again, it's a case of getting yourself into a lovely position because the lit symbol is just, you'll see where it is there. So we just need to press, uh, I think the left bumper in order for it to go closer to the triangle. So again, it's just a case of getting your vehicle lined up properly, extending the top rotator again with up on the d-pad and just spinning it around and that will grab the who needs a mechanic achievement and finally ending this godforsaken level <sighs> <sighs> Oh, goddamn, finally! Jesus Christ! Right, so since we made it, we've now got just a couple left. What we have to do is now... Oh, in fact, no, this is the final one. The final zone for this particular level. Then we've just got a few more left. Grab the surprise vehicle. Drive forward. We need to drive forward until we are in front of the building that is directly at the back. 
So ignore all enemies, ignore everything. Just go forward, hit the statue. Skablamo, go straight towards the building in the back. Left bumper, right bumper, and B button combo. That should get the zone conquered, the level complete, and the frozen monarch achievement completo. So, right, now we are into the final region of the game. The region, which is, uh, what's his name? It's, uh, it's Kralmar, the Isle of Kralmar. Uh, sounds like a better version of Walmart, really, doesn't it? Welcome to Kralmar, where you can buy guns, but you can't buy Kinder Eggs, remember? They're banned. Right, so, for the first one, Towering Eye. So, we're gonna leave it with the surprise. Surprise, mother flubber. And it's another simple one. We're going to load the vehicle here. Go forward. Just avoid the people. Don't worry about them. Just explode everything when you're at the building. That will conquer that zone. Uh, that will get us the Dodger achievement as well. If you get hit and you don't get the Dodger achievement, just restart and try it again. It should only take you a couple of times. Just avoid the people. Explode everything. And you should get that eventually. Uh, so that is the Dodger achievement there. Next... We're going to search for another vehicle called Easy Vault. Uh, Easy V A U L T. Um, this one again seems particularly frustrating, but it really, really isn't. Uh, what we need to do is, it should be all the way at the bottom. There it is on the top, on the bottom right-hand corner. Sorry. There she blows, mate. There she blows, man. That's the one, 55 blocks, 25th of the second, 2022, job done. Right, like it, download it, and open it this time. So what we've got to do is put the key, which is to the right of us, basically just in the middle of the big trap door. So, uh, uh, pressing up on the D-pad moves the grabber down. Pressing down on the D-pad moves it up. God knows why, that's just awfully um, confusing. And the Y button extends it, so... All you have to do is go over to the key, put your grabber down, which is, uh, again, by pressing up on the D-pad. Of course, that will automatically grab it. So, no worries there. Fantastic. Now, push your grabber up by pressing down on the D-pad, and then just go over to the hole right here in the middle of the zone. And then just drive it in, and then slowly put your grabber down. <laughs> if you do it too fast, that is exactly what will happen. So slowly put your grabber down, and then you can press the X button to release it when you're over the hole. That will get this one done, and on to the next one. There it is. So, lovely job. 50 seconds. God, I'm like a genius, man. <laughs> Which I'm actually not. Right. So, Forgotten Sanctum, this is where we're actually going to use the first of our two available skips. So we've got two skips. Because we haven't used any at all through the game. So just press the start button. Go to next level. It says next level just on the time scale. And above settings there. And it'll tell you, are you sure? Yes. So we go straight to the Mesa outpost. So um, we're going to grab the cannon outpost destroyer. Wow, that sounds goddamn hardcore. Like Amber Heard taking a turd on the head of the bird. Uh, but what we have to do... Um, this one took me a good couple of tries. Uh, the Cannon Outpost Destroyer is the vehicle we need. Of course, we didn't download that earlier on, so we've downloaded it right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Justice for Johnny, by the way. Justice for Johnny. Well done, Johnny Depp. The first man to ever win an argument against a woman. Fantastic. Right, uh, so Cannon Outpost Destroyer. Go all the way down. Sorry, I'm very sorry. And the Canning Outpost Destroyer is going to be this one, which is um, kind of looks like a whole bunch of blocks and stuff. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, but it's this one. 104 blocks, 14th of the 2nd, 2022. Now, this will probably not work on your first try. Um, because if you just spin the camera around ever so slightly, what you're going to see, there are three cannons that we have to hit. For some reason, for me, it was the second one, or the right-hand side one, which just didn't seem to work. So, all we have to do is just keep, um, we just need to keep restarting, press in right bumper to shoot the cannons, and then eventually we're going to hit all four. I did say three, what I meant was four. Uh, but for some reason, it was that literally the second one just did not want to work. Um... In fact, it didn't want to work this time either, but it seemed to. Come in. Ah, there we go. So just keep going with that one. 
restart, and then press the right button to shoot your cannons. Eventually, like you just seen, we hit all four, and job done. Right. <laughs> now this one, I will be honest, I was a bit of a dongus monkeyus. I'll tell you exactly what I was. We need to get a vehicle called a Breadcraft. Again, it's one that we didn't download earlier on, so we have to go ahead and download that. So, just go into the downloads as normal, as you've done so many times. Breadcraft. Now, make sure that you choose Breadcraft and not Bomb Breadcraft. The Breadcraft Brommer. So I actually went with the second one, the Breadcraft Bomber, wondering why it kept blowing up, and that's exactly why. So make sure to choose the one that says Breadcraft, use this for the Tree Hugger achievement with 34 blocks, job done. So as we begin straight away, you need to press the Y button that will raise your vehicle, using the D-pad um, to adjust your position, and you've just got to fly into the apples, so there's a bunch of apples on the tree, just fly into them, but this one may take a few tries just to get used to. Um, if you're not happy with the D-pad, you can actually adjust your controller settings uh, so that you can use the left stick to move. Um, otherwise, again, I made it look quite easy there, but again, that took me a while to do simply because the controls... Well, it felt like somebody stuck a finger up my nostrils while I was doing that then. So, but that'll get you the tree hugger achievement anyway, and then we can go into ambush. So as long as you've just done the last level without using crossbows, cannons, and explosives, which we didn't do... That is how you get the tree hugger achievement. Right! On to ambush. Surprise, Mother Flubber. That's what we're going for once again. Another very easy one. Start the level. Eh, no, start the level, bruh. Start the level, drive forward, explode everything, L, B, R, B, and B. And that took a nice 2.86 seconds. Again, if it doesn't work, just restart it and try again. This is another very confusing one, and it's very it's, it's a very complicated one. So what we're going to do is just use the two out of our two skips, press the start button, go to next level, and it sh we should be absolutely fine, just fine. Um, I don't know what I'm just doing right there. So we are going to skip this level. So that should be the two out of two done, which is fine, because we've only got a couple left now. Right, what we are going to do this time... Now... For the Karaz village, what you can, there's a couple of ways you can go about this. First, you can just grab the, uh, what is it, the Breadcraft Bomber, but it's very complicated and it can be an absolute pain in the ass. Because what we need to do is complete the Karaz village, this level, without using cannons, crossbows, drills, or saws. Uh, but like I said, doing it with the, um,. Breadcraft Brahma is just a pain in the butt. It just it's, it's quite hard to do so Again and again shout out to everyone who came up with all these suggestions, but there is a, There is a vehicle called the achievement unlocker slash level uh, was it beta? Now all that is is basically just a box just a square box with a massive bomb on it um, which when you start the level just um, explodes, just completely explodes, but what I end up doing is just grabbing this Demolition Expert achievement. So, you can either type in Demolition Expert achievement and grab this one, which has 146 blocks and is basically a massive, massive spiky boy. Um, and then what you can just do is lay waste to the village that way, but just driving at, into absolutely everything. Because for whatever reason, when I uh, looked for that achievement uh, achievement unlocker slash level beta. I couldn't find it for the life of me, so I ended up grabbing this. Or, if you want to, you can just use your shattered field vehicle and literally just poke everything until it all falls down. So, if you don't want to be looking around for specific vehicles, you can literally just use your um, shattered field, poke everything, and eventually it will work. By the way, up and down on the D-pad is what I'm using there to uh, move the spikes back and forth. So, it's literally... Um, just a case of, again, you can't grab this one that is high up, but you should have enough to uh, destroy everything that's on the floor and this final uh, building right here. But again, that is what I would do personally. The Breadcraft Bomber is just a pain in the butt snatch. So I wouldn't even bother attempting that one just because it's a pain in the ass to fly. Grab the Shattered Field or grab this Demolition Expert um, achievement, uh, whatever which one it was called. And grab that one. 
and that will complete the Karaz village without using cannons, crossbows, drills, or saws. Right, uh, now this one is a bit... I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to say I don't know how this achievement unlocks. Um, so what we're going to do is grab the Atlas Challenge Vehicle. Of course, that's something else that we have to grab. I just typed in Atlas, and eventually it's going to be the set, the, the one in the middle right there. So Atlas Challenge... Sorry, no, the one on the right, sorry, my apologies, the one with four propellers on it. Um, so make sure it's that one, not the other one, the one with 72 blocks here. Now, what we have to do, um, it says that we need to lift the boulder that we need to grab 10 units off the ground. Um, but just doing it this way, it seems to unlock absolutely every time. So what you just need to do is fly forward, exactly the same as you've been flying throughout the entirety of the game. We need to slowly lower ourselves on top of the boulder, uh, basically making sure that all the grabbers, there should be four grabbers that are underneath us, they are stuck to the boulder's butterballs. And then what you need to do is just simply pull directly back. So basically, just towards where you started in the level. Um, but yeah, so that's all you got to do. Now, as soon as this is done, as soon as you pull it off and the boulder is free... Sometimes it may not unlock the, the the level will be complete, but sometimes it won't unlock the Atlas challenge uh, the Atlas's challenge achievement Sometimes it won't unlock Sometimes it will straight away and then other times like for me just now it took a while in order for it to unlock But just make sure they got the Atlas challenge all done And then that is done now. We are finally on to the final of the levels yeah. And when you know what you're looking for it's very easy. So we're going to go into the workshop, go to downloads and type in auto last level. Now there was quite a few that I used because I didn't, literally loads called auto last level. But all we're doing is going all the way down and it says, it did say level 41, but it's literally these little like couple of flying things. 31 blocks, 11th of the second 2022, that is the one we need. So as soon as you start, simply load the vehicle, start the level. And it just does it for you. It, it, again, it may take a couple of tries, but when it works, when it eventually works, anyway. So again, you don't have to do anything. Ah, there we go. As soon as it works, the zone's conquered, the world's conquered. We are going to grab the Emperor of Sand achievement, as well as the Conqueror achievement. So that should be two achievements. Now, hopefully, you've been following the game enough that... Or you've been following the game and you've unlocked all the achievements at the same point I have. If not a bit earlier, if not a bit later. But hopefully, you should be at around the same as me anyway. In terms of we should only now have two achievements left. And I'm going to show you exactly which ones they are now. The one is for Carnage, for defeating a thousand AI units. And for getting hit by lightning, the Thunderstruck achievement. If you have... Um, more than two achievements left. Just have a look at the timestamps in the description box or the comments below to find out exactly which one that you need and which one you're missing um, to basically get it easier. You should only have two left by now, though, so we should be good to go. But what we're going to do is go to Tolbrind, and then what we're going to do is go to the Duke's Plea. The Duke's Plea. Now... There is a whole bunch of rain clouds. There's a whole bunch of rain clouds and stuff in the game which hit thunder anyway. I just thought this was the easier one. Um, so just get any vehicle that you've already got that drives. I just grabbed the quality grabber because it's quality. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to do. When we start, we're going to go behind to the left and behind uh, to the back of the tower. Don't worry about anyone attacking you or anything. All we're going to do is just stand or drive ourselves and stay right underneath this rain cloud. And that's literally it. So that's all we're going to do for the next minute or two until the achievement unlocks. I mean, I... Ah, oh, there it is. So I got struck by lightning. That is the Thunderstruck achievement. Oh, beautiful. So now we've only got one achievement left. Again, you might have already had these two. You may not have. Uh, but hopefully if you've been following the guide, you are pretty much on path with it as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to head to Ypsilon once more. And the zone that we're going to go to is number five called Perimeter Wall. No, we're going to the Queen's Fodder. Zone six, the perimeter, uh, the Queen Fodder, sorry. Got a little confused right there. But uh, Zone 6, the Queen's Fodder. I forgot they added an extra level in by the time I played this again. Um, so, get the Death Cube. 
And this is all we got to do as soon as we start. Just let everybody come to you or just, you know, completely smash everyone. Press the right bumper, of course, when you start. Um, I literally just wait until everyone comes to me first and then do it that way so that the zone gets conquered. And that is all we're going to be doing for the next minute or so. And as you can see, the achievement tracker is absolutely flying up like an absolute sick puppy. Pup sick mother pupper. <laughs> <sighs> But that is, yeah, this is pretty much it. So, base siege. <laughs> I think if we had to build all the vehicles ourselves, man, that would have taken a goddamn while. But honestly, big shout out then as we just uh, continue this to get the last achievement. Just once again, I just want to say a big massive shout out to absolutely everyone who took the time, effort, blood, sweat, jizz and tears in order to, what did I just say? Yeah, anyway, in order to build specific vehicles for these specific levels, because without those guys, gals and frying pans, it would have taken an absolute age. So a big shout out to everyone again. Thank you so much to them. And there we go then, guys and gals. So when the achievement unlocks, you should now have 29 out of 29 achievements. And that is a base siege on the console all done. So. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If it did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out, of course, as always, to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are legends. Don't forget to chat me on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Patreon. Um, and uh, yeah, so there we go. That's another Game Pass game. All done. Beautiful. And that is that. I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.